Hello my dear friends, how are you all? Welcome back to this channel Exotic Scents with Nikhil and today I have very interesting scents from Sultan Pasha. These are not spray perfumes, these are all classical essential oils, traditional atars or itra as we like to call them in India and um, you cannot spray them, you cannot splash them but this is what perfumery was um, centuries ago and uh, it has survived and thanks to all the effort that Sultan puts into these now his others, his work, I can divide it into two categories basically and that's my understanding. He has some beautiful western inspired scents, let's say classical European perfumes and on the other hand we have some very exotic uh, middle eastern scents or let's say eastern scents, classical eastern scents and you do not get such scents in the market anymore. Very few houses, very few houses would attempt to make these scents. Sultan has managed to keep a fine balance between these two worlds. Now, if you are someone who's loved those classical perfumes from, let's say, Gela, Dior, we are talking about the old vintage scents. We are talking about those old, bold sheep. We are talking about those fougeres, which were rich, intoxicating, mysterious. I mean, if you bring back those scents today, people would believe these to be the modern um, Arab Arabian scent or the Arabic scent but it's not it's your classical European perfumery which has gone out of style but there are people like me who still appreciate these and um, uh, these kind of themes these kind of scents and um, in fact these are very evocative these are very uh, rich smelling they are slightly intimidating because you get some uh, leathery tones not so public friendly kind of uh, materials in these these scents but that's what makes these unique these beautiful i mean you do not have to be um, what people call as a scent snob to like these these are pretty obviously quite beautiful in nature uh, quite calming i mean you get natural essential oils that are of extremely high grade and that's what uh, the European, the modern European perfume industry also uses, even the American perfume industry which is growing at a phenomenal rate is using, but they use a modified formula of most of these, these uh, original essential oils because that's, that's more acceptable now. But thankfully we have Sultan who is still making these brilliant others. So he sent me a, a few of his others that he's made and uh, they are very interesting the names are fantastic and uh, i'm not really sure about the notes and uh, the breakdown or even if these are available on his website right now he has a separate website now thankfully he used to sell uh, the samples and the others through ebay uh, which was which was quite quite a uh, a deal breaker for many people but now he has his own website so you can order it from there anyway let's let's talk about this this beautiful new scent that i have and I'm loving it. It's Lefemer. So, obviously, I don't know the story behind this perfume, but definitely it's inspired by something. Probably a moment, a memory in his life. So, a short lasting memory or, or, or a short lasting moment which, which, uh, which was magical, which was immediately. Uh, uh, a life-changing kind of a moment you know it's it's like falling in love with someone or something and it's it's very momentary it's it's not it's not uh, uh, I mean that that small moment almost feels like suspended animation it can go on for a very long time and you keep thinking about it you keep dreaming about it probably that's the idea behind behind this and that's the idea but I'm not really sure he sent me a sample and let me tell you guys this is one of the most beautiful perfumes that I've sniffed in the last uh, few months and um, let me tell you it's been a disastrous disastrous year apart from a few creators that I've uh, praised uh, the, the recent designers have been absolutely flaccid uh, very very mundane and this brings so much happiness to me and I'm, I'm really ready to share it with you guys so the scent immediately immediately takes me back to those old European um, 
times you can say old london old paris i mean you watch these movies these european classics and uh, they talk about uh, uh, the theater they would talk about music they talk about cultures they would talk about philosophy they talk about their explorations their travels etc etc for a very long time it's friends having a very good time in the evening over some food and some wine and uh, it's a culture kind it's a formal kind of thing i don't know it, it just reminds me of 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 those old times i've been to scotland i've been to uh, england when i was a small kid so uh, i mean the streets of edinburgh it's, it's 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 a beautiful old town it has a very ancient feel it's it's almost like a textbook feeling that you get from those those uh, those places and it really reminds me of that culture you have fresh flowers in the scent and um, it's it's so thick so sweet so creamy so immediately i i i was welcome i was welcomed by this lovely powdery violet and this thick creamy almost buttery iris which had a slight powdery whisper to it what a fantastic opening probably one of the most glorious openings that you can get from scent there are some sharpish flowers at the top as well probably some white florals which are giving it probably tuberose giving it a very sexy seductive kind of an opening i love floral scents by the way i think it's a very bold opening with those beautiful florals and then the scent gets creamier and creamier you get a soft layer of incense rising up what a brilliant combination i think he's he's got he's got some elements from the orient he's got some elements from uh from let's say um the the classical french perfumery and he's he's combined these emotions i would say he's combined these two schools uh schools of thought and uh, he's got a brilliant product for all of us which which speaks volumes about not just his talent to work with essential oils but also his understanding of different cultures and his creative uh, genius and uh, i think this is his sweet spot this is where he works uh the best uh, between somewhere between exotic oriental others and somewhere uh you know and and the the western um classics perfume classics that is a sweet spot he can create the best of these scents he's got wonderful incense based scents he's got wonderful oud based scents he's got all that rose oud and uh, uh you know the shamama kind of things but this is where his work sp- speaks it it sings it not just it not just speaks but it sings it's like an opera you just sit and experience it not just the sounds but the vibrations that come out of it it's it's the bass it's the tone it's the change of pitch it's the incent it's the intensity you can feel the emotion going up and down there's laughter there's happiness and suddenly there's a tragic tragic kind of sound coming from there and then of course the visuals the stunning visuals they'll there's complete silence and you just focus on this vibrating body so much emotion so much intensity and uh 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 character oozing out of uh, that person who's 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 uh performing the opera for you so it's one of those scents absolutely glorious and um people talk about amwash people talk about all these new niche brands and how special they are how exotic they are how mysterious I mean come on guys we have Sultan Pasha here we've got guys like Enzar we've got we've got guys like uh, Zakir we've got the fantastic uh, Russian Adam from Filud and uh, you know why I keep on talking about these scents because these scents are reminiscent of a bygone era which was fantastic which actually was the best period for perfumery they still sell these perfumes but to only special clients and some of these niche scents have become very 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 expensive and uh the classics i don't know they can probably never bring those back because the materials used there are now prohibited by the law and uh, by the industry in these countries but what sultan has created here is fantastic i mean you've got florals you've got a soft incense rising in in the background in the later phases and then it suddenly turns into a woody uh spicy musky kind of scent 
and uh, you can feel the fur of the animal here it's not dirty it's not unwashed a very uh, civilized kind of a musk in the dry ground it's very soft probably a different kind of a musk which 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 he's utilized there's probably some ambergris, ambergris giving it a slight uh, oceanic tone a bit chalky a bit funky overall the feeling of the scent is amazing and this scent is pretty loud you just need tiny dabs of it and that's the thing with most uh, most of his creations those are very very potent i'm not sure about the longevity yet but i am guessing in uh, in, a, in a pleasant environment in a pleasant climate you can easily get about six to ten hours maybe or even more if you accidentally um, put a little on your clothes somewhere maybe you can get uh, 16 hours if, if it's, a, it's a cold climate maybe if you live in london england you'll get much more out of this uh, but in India, in the hot weather, six to eight hours, don't expect more. But especially in the winter times, this is going to be a fantastic long lasting uh, scent. And that's where it will be able to uh, tell you its story. That That's where it uh, it will get the time to breathe and to release the individual elements and what it's trying to say i mean that's the that's a perfect time to wear and, and enjoy the scent you can study it for the finer nuances and to train your nose i mean that's what you get with these others you can train your noses with these kind of scents these are so complex you can teach yourself so much about your own uh, olfactory reception and um, I'm, I'm very impressed with this scent and, I, and, I'm, and I'm actually loving it. The buttery iris accord that Sultan uses in most of his perfumes are just fantastic. I mean, it reminds me of the wonderful Thebes Royal, Thebes Royal, something like that. There was, um, there was a Rev, uh, Rev Narcotique, there was uh, Iris Soir, there was one more scent. Which, which was uh, I think Sohandi uh, so, Iris it was a beautiful iris based scent and thick creamy floral uh, jasmine uh, so vintage so classy so so well composed and uh, so rich so intoxicating this is a scent I would love to wear every day because it's it's, it's so it's so complex it's almost like it's a different perfume in different stages i know i'm praising it a lot but this is this is what the perfume is doing it's not me and uh, probably you've already uh, sampled the scent because i'm not active on the social uh, media so i do not know if he's already uh, talked about these scents uh, in his group and people are people have already experienced it so i'd love to hear your comments what you think about the scent and this is what i got from le Femme. it's it's a fantastic scent and um, i think everyone every man woman who's interested in higher perfumery classical perfumery vintage perfumery classic oriental scents classic european scents you must make an effort to try these scents because these are such wonderful specimens that you can still get of course these are price if you are talking about expensive others here but guys the work the mastery and it takes years and years to master the art of balancing these finer scents forget about the oil form i mean these are very difficult to put together in a, in a bottle with alcohol because then the whole um, the dynamics of the uh, the, the uh, of these uh, molecules it changes with with the media and now you have them in the essential oil format so of course you need different temperature you need different uh, a different mood to be in to be able to enjoy these scents and to enjoy um, uh, the whole story behind the scent I mean it's it's absolutely fantastic very melodious very uh, very very impressive work from Sultan so thank you Sultan bhai for sending me these others I'll be talking about the other others as I test them but out of everything that I've tried for now this has impressed me the most I'd love to talk about one of the other others which he sent me a full bottle of and um, it's very oriental I wore it uh, today and um, it is more of a creamy, oody, uh, slightly greasy, 
uh, chocolatey kind of slightly chocolatey kind of scent uh, sweet chocolatey woody incense kind of scent it, it's a beautiful scent which I'd love to talk about so guys this was my review of Le Femme from uh, Sultan Pasha Athars I hope you had fun and we'll be back for more until then take care bye bye